He who spares his rod hates his son, but he who loves him disciplines him properly. So we need to check our children when they are wrong and to lead them in the right direction. And if you go on to Proverbs 23, a little spanking will do them good, you know. So we don't, we don't need to pamper them all the time. So the word of God says here, in 23.30, My son, um, yeah. do not withhold correction from a child, for if you, if you beat him with a rod, you will not, he will not die. You shall beat him with a rod and deliver his soul from hell. Amen? Amen? So, the most important thing is his soul, as the word of God says. Hey, you will not push him into destruction or, uh, and uh, that's why you, you love your child. You want to bring him up in the right way. Now we'll come, up, come to some of the women of the Bible, some of the mothers who influenced, who were a lot of influence to the children. And uh, I would like to take up um, Moses, mother of Moses. When uh, Moses was born, he was kept safely for three months in the house. But later on, he, uh, his mother put him in a basket and she placed him in the river. I don't think we have the guts to put them in the river. But his mother had so much faith. She had the faith so strong. She had no doubt. But she placed him in the river. She thought, she knew that God will take care of her son. And that's what happened. Her faith was so strong. Faith will kill doubt. And doubt will kill faith. And according to Hebrews 11, 6, it says, without faith, you cannot please God. So we need to have that strong faith in us as a mother. Who can, we can put our faith in God and leave the rest in his hand. That's what she did. Moses was brought up by two women, mothers. One was his biological mother and the other was the Pharaoh's daughter. In the, when, she was brought, when Moses was brought up by um, Pharaoh's daughter in the palace, he must have been given all the worldly knowledge and the skills of a prince. But it so happened his mother was also in the palace. She gave him the godly teaching to him, which strengthened him. And she gave him the ways of God and built his, the foundation on the faith of God, which later on made him to face the challenges and come out victoriously. Next we come out to a mother, a praying mother. I'm sure all of you know who she was, Hannah. She prayed for her son. She prayed persistently for a son, for a child, I would say. God blessed her with a son. And she gave him back to God so that God can use him mightily for his purpose and glory. So, uh, we need to pray for our children so that we sow spiritual seeds in them. And the Holy Spirit will lead us in training those children. And Samuel, as a chi uh, child, Samuel grew in stature and in favor with God. That's what it's given in 1 Samuel, in, uh, 1 Samuel 2, 26. And the child Samuel grew in stature and in favor with the Lord and men. 
You will see that this is the same thing we see about Jesus. It's given in Luke 2.52, the same verse. That Jesus grew up in stature and he in favor with God and with men. So when we submit ourselves to God, God helps us even with our worldly things, with men, with people around us. God blessed Samuel because of his praying mother. And he grew up to be a prophet, a great prophet. And God could use him mightily throughout his life. Another mother we see about is Lamuel's mother. You must have heard the king, King Lamuel. His mother, she gave him a lot of advice and counseled him. This you will find in Proverbs 3, 1, 31. She advises him to be an idle king, idle king. And she warns him against the lust of the flesh and pleads that he should plead for the cause of the poor and needy and judge righteously. This was her advice to her son who was a king. What kind of mother are we willing to be? A mother who opens her mouth with wisdom? A mother who has the law of kindness on her tongue? A mother who prays? A mother who builds her faith? Our life speaks a lot. Children observe us, the way we talk, our attitudes. So we need to have a godly, attitude in our lives because that is the main priority we need to give. We are not perfect but God can use us and correct us when we submit to Him. Godly mothers will not only bring children up but bring them their children to God teaching them the way, the truth and the life found in Jesus. As the word of God says in Mark 8.36, Jesus himself said, What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Thank you.